Hello and welcome to another exciting vlog on homemade chaos. Ugh. All right, well, I'd just like to show off my new hat. Why am I wearing a new hat, you might ask? Hmm, good question, let me tell you. I'm wearing this new hat to kick off our amazing gift haul from Iceland video. Yeah! Yeah! My mom and dad took a trip to Iceland. We have Icelandic um, heritage and roots and my dad had always wanted to go back to Iceland to check out where his ancestors came from and so my mom and dad just got back from a 10-day adventure in Iceland and they brought the boys and us, all of us, some beautiful gifts from Iceland and I just thought we would share them with all of you guys. So this is the hat, the beautiful, I don't know if you can see it, beautiful hat that they brought me. It's got little Julie's, little bling, I love bling, little pretty little Julie's on my hat. It's gorgeous. It's It's got a nice, like a tight, like elastic, kind of like a headband that goes all the way around to kind of keep it on your head, keep the heat in and the cold out which is going to be perfect for Canadian winters at the rink, at the hockey rink. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome, I love it. It's got a cute little um, fluffy little pom-pom on the top. And what did you get, Fletch? Fletcher also got this hat. No, no for you hockey fans, it's not a Montreal Canadiens hat. <laughs> it's the colors from the Icelandic flag. So the Icelandic flag is blue and red and with a bit of white in it. So he got, he picked that hat, the colors of the Icelandic flag, and he got this absolutely gorgeous, show it off, absolutely stunning um, Icelandic sweater. Because as you know, Iceland is renowned for their beautiful wool sweaters. Um, it's a shame these days they don't seem to hand knit them uh, out of pure wool like they used to. Um, when I was a little girl, my grandmother actually hand knit me a beautiful Icelandic sweater. We're on the hunt, we're trying to locate it. It's probably in a box either in my basement or my parents' basement and we are trying to find it so that my boys can actually wear it. Um, but now you can see um, this this isn't hand knit like they, they did. Although my dad did bring, they still do hand knit some. My dad brought a beautiful hand knit one home. But uh, yeah, this one's just made like, you know, on a machine, how they do. But it is kind of like that typical Nordic Scandinavian pattern that they, you know, will have. And um, yeah, and they are known for their beautiful sweaters up there. So um, both little boys got this sweater. Now I'm gonna take you over to the dining room table where I have set up all the other beautiful gifts and I will show you the rest of our haul. So here's the rest of our Icelandic gift haul. Uh, as I said, both of the little boys got these matching gorgeous blue sweaters. Um, and my mom was saying that the, it's a big brand name over there on their sweaters and winter wear. It's called Icewear. And that's the logo with the little snowflake. So that's kind of cute. So she said a lot of the um, winter clothes are this Icewear brand. So that beautiful, beautiful sweater. And what have we got over here? Um, this is for Harrison. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have a little helper. Oh, is your puffin drinking milk? Okay, that's, pr that's pretty cute. <laughs> okay, leave, leave puffin there so we can show him. And this, oh, this sweater, like I was saying, this is the one they brought back for Harrison. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, black and white, and um, it's also that Icewear brand, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And his has a zipper down the front. Harrison gets pretty warm and doesn't like 
like sweaters and he doesn't like anything tight. So my mom got him a zip one so he can undo it and either wear it open or wear it partially open with a t-shirt or something underneath. But I think, um, I reckon that matches my hat that I'm wearing. So um, I have a feeling I'll actually be borrowing this from him and wearing this uh, probably a lot at the rink to watch him play hockey with my matching hat. Okay, you have to wait a moment. Mom is trying to do her vlog. Ah, um, and then, oh, here's the the hats. So that she brought back toques for everybody. This is the one Harrison picked. It's So they all have Please. colors of the flag, Please, except mommy. this one's just black Please, and gray. Um, yeah, you can put your slippers on in a moment. We're, we're vlogging. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> yeah, put them on in a minute. Sit down and try putting them on. So uh, this is uh, one hat. This one's Joe's. Joe picked this one that says Iceland, the black and white. Uh, Stetson picked this one. This is actually the Icelandic flag. And then Harrison picked the plain red one. He loves red. It's his favorite it's color. Funny. And this one says Iceland. And then his has a Viking. I think you can no, sort of see the Viking mommy. with the shield okay, down below. Mommy, and there's this, here's this head. And then he's got the big axe. No. Kind of like a, there, you can see the Viking on that one. Okay, yeah, you're going to have to wait a moment, okay? I can't put them on right now while I'm doing this vlog. So just just be patient, please. You have to wait one minute. Just wait. Ooh, the joys of vlogging with a toddler. And now Puffin. What happened to Puffin? Um, and each of the boys got a book, The Sayings of the Vikings, um, in a new and readable translation. So, um, we haven't had a chance to, to read that yet. More than 1,000 years old. So, it's got a bunch of different, um, like, um, the useless power. So, like, verses and prose and things like that. Probably some advice from the Vikings. Um, and then the two little boys also got this cute little puffin stuffy. Um, as you know, Iceland is full of those little cute little puffins. And so my mom said there's lots of um, puffin souvenirs. So she brought the boys little puffin stuffies. Those are so cute. And uh, some Icelandic krona. That's their currency. So, oh, I'm trying to get it to focus here. I don't know if it will. Oh, there. There's one krona, five krona, and ten krona. And uh, it's they have a totally different amount. Like 10,000 is like one dollar or something. Um, so, yeah, my mom and dad said they had to move the decimal over two places to the left to figure out what that would be in Canadian money. So, yeah, you need, like, a lot of krona to buy anything. Mommy, please, please, please. Then, of course, mommy, being Iceland, they have... Do it, yes, do I will it. do it in one moment. Please give Mama one minute to finish. Um, because they have uh, volcanoes over there, they have lava. So here's some lava stones that they brought back for the boys. Um, really interesting. You can see the different... Oh, of course, it doesn't want to focus on... The lava it wants to focus on everything oh there so there's the um, some pieces of lava from you know volcanoes over there so that's interesting they just pick some of that up they said it's kind of everywhere all over the roads and stuff you can just pick up chunks like rocks um, and then they make jewelry out of the lava so these are the beautiful lava stone earrings that they brought me these are gorgeous oh they're gonna look fantastic with that sweater that I'm going to borrow. And of course my new black and white hat. So yeah, those are so pretty. The lava stone earrings, just gorgeous. Love them. And some chalk, oh, a shot glass. <laughs> With a Viking and a, and a and the volcano. And yeah, so um, there we go. A Viking ship, I guess. And then a Thor looking guy. And some um, Icelandic chocolate. This one, she said, this one is like a milk chocolate. This one is a, like, I think a cookies and cream kind of, it's showing like an Oreo, like a cookie in it. 
And then this one, what did she tell me? And now I can't remember what it said. Oh, she said it was in English on the back. Does anybody read Icelandic? Um, oh, licorice. That's right, licorice, because they love their licorice over there. So this has licorice chunks in it. That's right. Licorice chunks in chocolate. Oh, I can't wait to try that. And again, the dark, salty licorice. Uh, they love they love licorice in those Scandinavian countries. The Danes, the Finnish, the um, Swede, Iceland, Norway, and a lot of those Scandinavian countries love black licorice. And the stronger and the saltier, the better. So this is apparently that really good if you love if you love black licorice and you love that salty licorice i've been waiting to open it i wanted to eat it last night but i dare not open it until we give it a until we vlogged it now i can tear into this and eat it up i can't wait i love black licorice anyhow that i think completes our oh dear haul from iceland sweaters and hats and lava and money and puffins and chocolate and what do you say little viking yep are you a viking <laughs> say thanks for watching thanks for watching Aww. see you next time on homemade chaos don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment if you uh, have icelandic heritage if you yourself have been to iceland or if you would like to go uh, or if you just enjoyed our vlog in general, let us know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye. Bye. Bye.